Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving rational equations. Solve each equation, and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this equation, x plus 2 over x is equal to x minus 1 over x minus, I'm giving a little space there, 4 x plus 2 over x squared minus 3 x. Got it all. All right. So what I want to do first is, well, I can only combine these two fractions if they have the same denominator. We have an x here and an x squared minus 3x. So if I multiply this one here by a x minus 3 over itself, we can see x times x is x squared, x times minus 3 is minus 3x. We would then have the same denominator. So let's go simplify a little bit. x squared plus 2 over x equals, and this one down here, I'm actually going to leave it as it, in its separated form. x times x minus 3. And you'll see in a minute why. The numerator, though, we can multiply this out. x times x, right, is x squared x times minus 3 is minus 3x, minus 1 times x is minus 1x. Together, they make a minus 4x, and minus 1 times a minus 3 is a positive 4. Okay? Oh my goodness, no, it's a plus. I was running the whole thing. Positive 3. Oof, it's late actually that I'm recording right now, so bear with me here. Okay? Can't really tell, but it's pretty late. I'm tired. Minus 1 minus 3 is a positive 4. All right. Still bring all this over. Minus 4x plus 2. Now, oh, minus 4x minus 2. Again, it is time. I'm tired. Okay, well, what do I do to sacrifice for you all here? I got a nice video here. You know, if you like this video, please subscribe and like the video, you know. If you like the effort, help us make more here. All right. Back to the problem. So, Multiplying both sides by this denominator, x times x minus 3, and x times x minus 3 here. These will cancel. The x's cancel. Okay? And now I'm left with, well, an x minus 3 times an x plus 2. And here we can combine this stuff here. Uh, nothing with an x squared, but minus 4x and minus 4x is minus 8x. And plus 4 minus a 2. Oh, sorry. I erased it, didn't I? You can tell I'm tired here. I erased it and put it back there. The same exact thing. It's a positive 3. I'm sorry, right there. Positive 3. Positive 3 minus 2 is a positive 1. Okay. Good thing I solved the problem. Okay. So, keep going. Let's foil that out. x times x is x squared x times 2 is 2x, minus 3 times x is minus 3x, so we have minus 1x here, and minus 3 times 2 is a minus 6. And bring down the rest. There's an x squared on both sides, so they kind of cancel each other out. I can add an 8x to here, and actually I'm going to add a 6 to both sides now. So now we have 7x equals 1 plus 6 is 7. That's easy, right? Divide both sides by 7. So I'm going to write over here, x is just equal to 1. But they tell us that we have to check. Check for extraneous solutions. Don't forget that check. Don't just jump ahead and let your, this tell you to do your head. I always hated it. Some students said that. So now you didn't. Go, go show me the work. Put 1 in for every single x and see if the left and right hand side are equal. Okay. 1 plus 2 over 1. And we have 1 minus 1 over 1. Minus, now remember it's the original equation, 4 times 1 plus 2 over 1 times 2 minus 3 times 1. All right. So now, simplify 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 over 1 here. 1 minus 1 is 0 over 1, that's easy. 4 uh, times 1 is 4 plus 2 is a 6 over. 1 squared is 1 minus 3 
Okay, we have a minus 3 here. All right, 3 over 1 is 3 equals 0, 1, and 0. Don't really worry about it. We have minus 6 over 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Negatives cancel. Positive. 6 over 2 is a 3. 3 does equal 3. That's a true statement. Meaning that x equals 1 is not extraneous, but a real solution and our final answer. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use Minute Math, MinuteMathTutor.com.